try to get as much lift as possible. So I'm gonna. Or the next segment we're looking at is the double knee or the flying uh, front snap kick. Uh, you see this a lot in kata and jinto as well. You can potentially use it as two strikes if you're trying to use like a double front snap, right? Like I can utilize it in a way where I'm kicking low and then popping that up. And what I'm doing there is I'm really gonna kick and then jab the next one in there, right? So I'm gonna bring him low and then bring my other foot up. That'd be probably one of the common ways to use it. The other, the other way that I think most people try to implement it is just by doing a really large lunge jumping kick, right? And this first knee is not so much a kick as it is to uh, get some lift and get some air uh, into your kick, right? So when you're doing that, I'm really going to step and throw my hips up with it, bring my knee up with it, right? To try to get as much lift as possible. So I'm gonna use that to kind of create some lift behind my kick. With that in mind, um, you can either travel distance with it or you can aim for height with it, right? So, um, like Aaron was saying, if I push my hip forward, then I'm trying to gain distance, right? I'm actually trying to leap into that. But if I try to imagine launching my hip up towards the ceiling, then it's kind of coming straight up. So, um, you can think about this, different scenarios that that would happen. If a guy's far away and Aaron wants to gain distance, he's gonna do that kind of forward leaping knee here, right? But let's say we're clinched up and there's really no reason for me to gain distance and we're already here. So it kind of makes sense for me to kind of pull them down and go straight up for that one too. Um, your hands are also doing work in that, in that instance because you're pulling the head down to receive your knee as well. 